YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name's Roger. I own a company called QBO Tactical where we make holsters and gear and also film content for this channel. In today's video, we are throwing it back to my old days on patrol as a police officer here in Las Vegas. What do I mean by that? Uh, well, I carried a Springfield TRP operator as my duty gun and now Springfield has released a new operator to market. I'm happy to say we have it here in shop and we also had a blast with it on the range. So here we go. So as always, I like to tell you guys how I go about getting these products in for review. Um, you all know I have a great working relationship with the team over at Springfield Armory. And it all started with one of my first review videos here on the channel, uh, which was my TRP operator that I use for duty. Since then, I've worked with the Springfield team on new releases, holster projects, and marketing. Uh, with the new release of the operator, I definitely wanted to get one as it's one of my favorite 1911 offerings. The marketing team was kind enough to send us this operator for us to use in this video and for us to keep for holster fitment. Um, huge shout out to the marketing team over at Springfield, especially Stephanie and Chad, who have been big supporters of our channel for a long time. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get into the specs of this new operator. The Springfield Armory 1911 operator is a semi-automatic handgun chambered in 45 ACP with a five inch match grade barrel, front and rear tritium sights, G10 grips, ambidextrous safety, front and rear serrations, all built on their forged frame and slide. Now the operator is different from your standard 1911s as it comes with the accessory rail for weapon lights like this Surefire X300 Ultra equipped here. This new model comes in a black Cerakote finish and comes with two eight round magazines. Okay, with the specs out of the way, let's get into the range footage. Uh, so for this video, I actually had some friends visiting in town and I brought them out for a range day with a variety of guns. But while we were out there, I did want them to shoot this 1911 operator to get their thoughts. So here's that footage now. All right guys, these are my first shots to the uh, new Springfield Armory operator. Uh, running an X300 uh, V on here with a Chip McCormick Power 10 mag and some Federal 45. Let's see how it goes. So, doesn't like the Chip McCormick follower, but other than that, man, this thing is sweet. The, uh, the sights are pretty sweet. I'm liking the uh, white around the um, tritium. So, definitely easy to pick up, definitely super smooth. Um, yeah, let's get you guys up here trying it. You're up, Bryce, give her a whirl, dog. Right, thanks, Roger, for having me out. Uh, I've never shot a Springfield operator before, so I'm excited to see how it is. I got locked back there. They ran super smooth. I like the sights. Uh, I dig it. Give it a whirl, dog. We good? Yeah. This is so fun, dude. <laughs> cool. So what do you think, shooting all the staccatos in nine versus the uh, heavier weight in the 45? Like. It's, it's a bigger gun, so it helps absorb a lot of that recoil, but it's still a 45, so it still kicks a little bit. But it, there's like a weird satisfaction with shooting like a heavier round 1911, and there always will be, it's just fun. Now from there, Gabe and I went out for a dedicated range session with the operator. Um, I had him shoot the gun to get his initial thoughts, so here's that footage. All right, now for our second range session with Gabe. Here's your uh, first, first mag impressions. Go for it, bud. Next up is our favorite drill here on the channel, the bill drill. Time, 325 for shot, 157. Three thirty-one for shot, 163. Whew. 
It's a 205, first shot, 1.2. There we go. 194, first shot, 109. Got a .16 split in there, hey -o. Yeah, this thing, very, very similar to the TRP. A few differences um, that I wish were here. We'll go over that in studio, but man, just something about a really well put together 1911. I then wanted to run some shooting on the move while transitioning between our two steel targets and our solo paper target. them hits this guy's easy to hit that guy he's a little hard over there but uh hey somewhere mixed into yours <laughs> Now it was different doing this drill running traditional iron sights uh, because we typically are running red dots, but I was still able to track and stay on target with these irons. I, I will say that that white circle around the tritium definitely makes it easy to pick up. And lastly guys, we did some single shot drills from the holster for time. Right in the head, boom. 108, stand by. Nice. 146, stand by. .97, stand by. 139, hey -o. stand by. One oh seven. I'll take those. And just so you guys can see, this is that little mini ADAP we're shooting. Uh, I believe it's only like six inches wide. Gabe, go stand next to it. So here's Gabe next to it for reference. That little tiny guy is what we're shooting. These are one second draws on. Hey -o. Hey -o. All right, guys, so my overall thoughts on the new 1911 operator from Springfield Armory is that is a really good shooting gun, especially for the price, guys. Um, with the heavier weight of 2.6 pounds, you're not going to feel the recoil as much as other 45 caliber handguns on the market. Um, also, with the price point of $1,100 MSRP, you're going to find yourself on the better part of the deal if you're picking one of these up. Now, a couple of things that I did want to talk about that I noticed while on the range. Um, with this being a single stack gun, I thought that I was going to run into issues with reloads. However, with it being a slightly larger opening since it's a 45 caliber, uh, there wasn't really any trouble with reloads. I'd still probably want to add a mag well just because why not? And to me, I think aesthetically it looks better. Um, the other thing I did notice was that the front strap on the grip has no type of texture. Again, not a huge deal as the G10 has plenty of grip, but it is something that I noticed from my other operator, which is a TRP model that does have that texture there. The last thing I want to talk about is while this does have a match grade barrel, it is not a bull barrel. Um, I know that most people don't ever put enough rounds to their gun for this to even matter, but still something I wanted to note. Right now guys, a TRP operator is going to run you about $1,850 and this will set you back only about $1,100. If the front grip texture, bull barrel, and magwell are a must for you, then I'd say you probably want to step up and go with the TRP operator, which is my favorite 1911 from Springfield. Um, if you want a really great gun for $750 less than the TRP operator, then I would say definitely check out this new 1911 operator. Guys, that's gonna wrap up our review on the new 1911 operator from Springfield Armory. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up down below as that does help out the channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing because we post new videos every week. If you wanna further support our content, please check out that Patreon link down below. Our Patreon members are a huge reason why we keep making these videos for you guys all to watch, so thank you to them. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next one.